Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Treasures of Green Day, a book with some memorabilia in here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to be um, uploading this to both my channels. My, the one with my namesake, Sean Krause, and my music reviewer channel. So, let's just get it started. Um, yeah, I actually bought this um, last night. It's, it was like originally... 35 bucks if you can I can get that over there but the price got changed to like 10 bucks so yeah I just decided to buy it I guess so. see that's a picture of Green Day um obviously um the first um item in this treasures box would be a post is a Green Day poster. Pretty much exclusive to this. See right here. It's gonna be hard to hold up, but it's them. I believe this picture's from the. I, I know it's like later. It showed later on, and as a picture, just as a picture in the book. Um, I think it said somewhere that it's from like 1997 or 98 or something like that. So, oh, when I find that out. So. And then we have the the table of contents. It's all the chapters and pages. It's not really a long book, but I kind of got it. Obviously, pretty much I got it for all the um, all the stuff in it, all the extra memorabilia. Obviously, it's not the real memorabilia, the original copies. It's obviously um, it's obviously just copies of them. But still, it's, it's still really cool. Let's see, we have um, something from, uh, let's see, uh, something that said that some um, concert poster. I was trying to see if it was their first show, but I don't know if it is. Let's see, with um, Sweet Children, when they were still Sweet Children, with the Mr. T Experience and Crimp Shrine on there with, um, I really don't know who that is, but um, let's see. Well hung monks. I, I might as well check them out. Um, yeah, there's some pictures of their influence: Ramones, um, Queen, and Elvis. Obviously, three of the greatest rock artists of all time. Punk rock, greatest one of the greatest punk rock bands. Obviously, the inventors of it. Queen, the pretty much one of the greatest rock bands, and Elvis Presley. One of the first huge rock and roll stars. And he just has something in here for their first recordings. It has just a bunch. There's just a bunch of other show flyers. That's not really why I'm why I'm doing this. Ah, here we go. Some more um more enclosed items. Uh, I'm gonna try to get them out in the order that they're supposed to be. Uh, let's see. I think this is the next one. Is it? Um, hold on. Uh, yep. Green Day with special guests Tilt. Um, yeah, it's a really cool, um, really cool ticket. It's a, a replica of a ticket from March 29th, 1994, at um, Minneapolis in Minnesota. Um, what's the next one? A ticket. A ticket from, um, a show in Milan, Italy. Which would obviously explain why it's not in English. <laughs> but yeah, it says plus the Riverdales. I'm guessing they were opening for them. Yeah, they were opening for them, it says in here. Um, here's, um, a flyer from a show. Um, let's see. 924 Gilman Street. God, I love that place. Um, pretty much the opening of Lookout Records. It says up here, um, Green Day, Operation Ivy, Lookouts, and Surrogate Brains. I don't know who that... I've heard of the other one, uh, the Surrogate Brains. I never listened to them. The other three I do listen to. Obviously, Green Day and Operation Ivy are my two favorites of them. Um, which one? No. This one, this one. 
Okay, uh, another flyer for a show with, with them supporting the Mr. T Experience and Sam I Am. Um, yeah, they're the only other one of those three amazing bands. So far, this seems like it definitely must have for Green Day fans. Especially if you're as diehard and collectible Green Day fan as me. I collect like everything I've been. I mean, I have all their albums, but there's really nothing else I could really collect. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's a, another um, flyer to show it. It says that the Cruel Elephant. Um, I had to hold it a little bit farther back. Green Day. Um, let's see. Okay, Green Day, some other bands, like, I can't really see it. Um, it says, look at recording superstars, Green Day, with Ghetto, Skyist, and Alien and the Psycho. Wednesday, May 6th, Cool Elephant. If I was born then, I would go. But I'm not. So that's, um, that's it for that, for that sleeve. Well, here's the Billy Joe Armstrong page that's packed in. Um, I, I thought this one must have been a really great show right over here in the book. It's Flyer with Green Day, Brent's TV, and Appliances. It was their final show, Filth, um, Blatz, and Juke. I listen to th I've con consistently listened to Green Day, Filth, and Blatz, but not so much the other two. I have heard of them. Um, let's see, where's the next one, yeah, you got some, some pictures from the Dookie era over here, in this area, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that, let's see, you got Billy Joe with the Ernie puppet and the stupid shirt, along with, I think the one, yeah, the one where you're in the stupid shirt, Mike and Trey are back there, with um the hood of a car. So um, let's see. Let's see. Um, ah, so here's some more um. After, an after show entry for something from the Nimrod tour. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, here it is. A small little flyer for an early Green Day gig. Has helmet, jaw box, Christ on a crutch, seven seconds, Ultraman, Mutt Finicky, Napalm Death, Sick of It All, Second Chance, Psychosis, Green Day, The Melvins and Shelter. The Green Day show is Friday, August 30th. In case you're wondering. So, um, what's the next one? And here's a ticket from a Green Day show in, um, London. Special guest, the Astoria. Or, no, no, special guest. Uh, plus special guest, the Astoria is a place, never mind. That makes a lot more sense. I thought it was a place. Um, let's see. gonna have to take all this stuff out because this stuff is a pain to get out. Let's see, um, what's the next one? Uh, ticket from the Blake 182 Green Day Pop Disaster Tour. That's, that's really cool. Jimmy Eat World was opening for him. It says Saturday, April 20th, 2002 in, where was it? The Verizon Amphitheater. Or Amphitheater. How are you pronounce that? Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Next one is... Where is it? Uh, sorry about this. Uh, just had a little bit of trouble getting this out. Alright, there we go. The next one is... Um, a uh, ticket from a Green Day concert in France. Uh, here it is. From the Insomniac Tour. 
with the tables turning with the Mr. T experience opening for them instead of the other way around, obviously. That's a really, I, I thought that was a really cool looking ticket. Um, we have a set list from a Pinhead Gunpowder show in 2008. That's it's all, looks like it's all like crumpled up and obviously ripped. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, a flyer from Bear Religion show or Green Day opened for them. We have another show in the back that doesn't have to do with them, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, two of my favorite bands together. That's really cool. Next one is a flyer from Wigan, England, 1991. Yeah, right here. Um, next is a Lollapalooza, 1994. All the bands that played that year, um, Smashing Pumpkins, the Beastie Boys, L7, and, the, and Green Day are on there. Thought that was really cool. So that's it for that flap. Need to get all the stuff back in real quick. Let's put that in. Throw it all in there for now. Alright, so, um, let's see who else. It's the Nimrod era. All that stuff. Warning. Yeah, I definitely recommend this for any Green Day fans. Definitely some a lot of really cool stuff in here. I love that picture. Same with, uh, the George Bush idiot mask on. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical when I saw it. Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. One of the last two enclosures. Um, let's see. I'll get this stuff out first. The uh, Green Day dressing room sign from 21st Century Breakdown era. That's pretty good. I thought that was really cool. You can tell it's obviously a copy of it, which obviously it is anyway, because it's obviously not literally bent up and crumpled at all. The original one probably was. But yeah, it's definitely really cool. I'm definitely glad I bought this. Um, oh, um, here's a tour booklet from Green Day's uh, 2001 tour. 2001 tour book. Um, that's, I thought that was pretty cool. I was smashing stuff in there. I don't really feel like going through right now, this moment. Um... Uh, from Madison Square Garden, 2009. Let's see right there. Um, the next one are colorful sec security bass. Uh, that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Pop Disaster Tour on um, backstage pass with Blink and Green Day. That must have been a blast to be back there. <laughs> All right, we got one more flap. All the way in the back, it has all the stuff like the live stuff and you know, extras. There's definitely a lot of stuff in here. I definitely recommend this, as I have said numerous times. Uh, here's the final piece, Green Day poster. What they look like now, as opposed to what they look like in the in the first poster. Well, this isn't really now. This is from 2012, like right before Uno Dos and Trey. Uh, okay, that's how I get it. Like this. Get this huge poster. So, yeah, that's Green Day Treasure Box for you. Um, I definitely recommend it for any Green Day fan. It's definitely worth buying. Especially if you, since you can get it right now on sale at Barnes & Noble for 10 bucks instead of 35 Whereas online, I found it for like it, no no less than twenty five bucks on Amazon.com. So I definitely say this is one of those products that's probably better getting in stores as opposed to lots of other products I found that are better that are better priced online. So um, yeah, definitely I recommend this for any true any true Green Day fan and um, or any Green Day collectors. I say get this. So, yeah, it's pretty cool.
it's an unboxing. Um, as I said, this is going to be on both my channels. Um, my Sean Krause Music Reviewer channel and obviously my main channel, Sean Krause. I'm also going to be posting links to each video from the other channel and all my other channels and stuff like that inside each description. So, there we go. The unboxing of Treasures of Green Day.